absolutely ridiculous. It needs cleanup. It's really offensive. This is not how you leave it. See those overpacked drums? That's what they should have. That's what you put this in before you wait for disposal. You don't stockpile it on the ground. Look at all the rain, all the water all around this. How close are the kids here? 25, 30 feet behind us. This company is initially supposed to do the work. And okay. we had a plan to do it right, but it would have costed about $4 million to clean this up properly. Okay. So these guys instead hired another company called BMG, who's a ghost. We know we can't find any information on them. Okay. Who came out here with no air controls, no dust monitoring, no nothing, and just started digging. And they just dug all this up last week, and this is how they did it. We don't think they're going to save any money by waiting. They don't. They don't have any money. They shouldn't have dug it up before they had the money to dispose it. That doesn't make any sense. What do you think of those trucks? We know what's in them, hazardous waste. Dinner, like paint solvents, okay. benzene, volatile organic volatile compounds, organic chemicals, lead, lead, hexavalent chromium. In other words, this would have to go, this would have to go to a hazardous waste landfill. I'm not happy with it. Um, just to hear the few minutes, um, I can I can smell it. It's not even in the heat of the day yet. The black plastic over those drums is going to absorb more heat. It's going to heat up that waste faster than if it was just exposed. That means it's going to cause volatilization to be enhanced. It's good. The vapors are going to come off quicker and stronger. Also because of the high humidity, those vapors are going to tend to lay low on the ground in the breathing zone as opposed to if it was a windy day, they could be moved off and dispersed. The groundwater contamination from this site is enormous. There are lots of swim clubs and health spas around here and all of them can be affected by what's on this site. It needs cleanup. Yeah, we were informed this morning about, we thought DEP was in route. This actually should be what that is. See those drums? Those are right, the yeah, that's, that's what that should be. And the guy that came out here, I guess, and did the work, just took the drums and, and stockpiled them out here like that. So you're basically looking for the EPA or somebody to come out and take care of this mess and make it safe. Now these people have a legitimate problem here. I, I was telling them that when I used to work down by Kimba, they that pretty much burnt out my uh, sense of smell. When I got out of my car, I could smell this no problem. It's really offensive, and we have kids going walking through here. You're the one responsible. So get out here, send the DEP out here, and do your job. I'm a state representative. I have the you know I have the responsibility to make sure so your concerns are fully addressed. I'm so tired of the, the DEP not doing their job. It's absolutely ridiculous. You know, again, DEP drops the ball. 25,000 sites, 25,000 problems.